What is TWS podcast uh, episode whatever? Who cares at this point? Oh. <laughs> the rants the vindicated. It's my podcast. And I do what I want to. People, listen. Word, is this still live? It's not working for me, Rich. Right, we gonna keep going. I know I changed my voice at work. Bars on the radio. What is TWS podcast? Ready? I feel like the answer. Staring at my watch and I'm feeling so new school. Suicide attempts. How many tries to take? Damn, 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 damn. Oh man, welcome back to another episode of the What Is TWS podcast uh, This is going to be another evening with the flans This is a special episode, very, very, very special episode uh, First of all, uh, happy Father's Day Because I'm sure this is going to air on Monday after Father's Day So happy Father, happy belated Father, can you say belated Father's Day? And, yeah uh, and then, happy Juneteenth, yo. I, I don't know what it is. We're going to talk about I'm going to find out what it is today. I'm going to understand the whole Juneteenth thing today. But uh, but again, but those are not the reasons that this is a very special episode. This is a very special episode because Evening with the Flans has expanded. We got myself, J. Dot Flan, and as always, my lovely wife, Hamps. I'm here. And then we got the one, the only, the myth. What is what do you call it? the 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 legend? The legend. The legend, <laughs> the myth, flan dog herself. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is in the building. Hey, hey everyone. <laughs> 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 I haven't heard flan dog in a while. Flan dog. Flan dog. <laughs> oh man. Don't let the smooth taste fool you though, people. <laughs> anyway, uh yes, evening with the flans. Um, as usual, what you're hearing in the background is uh, music by Deuce Man Productions. It's my brother-in-law, which of course is my wife's brother. My brother. I, I was gonna say my wife's brother, like that wasn't the same thing. <laughs> but uh, they uh, have links to where you can uh, check out the rest of his music uh, posted with the episode. Um, happy Father's Day to him. Happy Father's Day to him. His he'll, first official. Yeah, he'll be. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, like, like when I celebrated Mother's Day for you, like I think the moment you start making sacrifices and, and acting with you know another human being in mind, mm-hmm. I think you're a parent. Yeah. Like the baby's not here yet, but he's making decisions right now. Yes. For a baby. For the child to arrive in so, November. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I say this is, a, this is a Happy Father's Day to him. Mm-hmm. Oh man! All right. So let's get the uh, let's get the bills paid first. Okay. As usual, uh, ttcharities.org. Please uh, check out the website if you haven't already. Um, Donate whatever you can, time, money, books, clothes, food, uh, whatever, you know, whatever they have a need for, which I'm sure is everything. Um, If all you can do is repost or retweet, that's that's just as good. But let's spread the message and let's let's help them do the good work they're doing out there. Let's not forget that the Flint, Michigan situation is still going ongoing. So we're talking about three years plus without clean water. There are some initiatives in place to try to get that fixed, but I know right now we have people that are being uh, sued, uh, I guess, by the state or by the water companies for not paying, not paying not paying bills for this dirty water. So there is a lot still going on there, and I know my man Tavares is uh, is right on the front line. So ttcharities.org, um, let's take care of our, our own. All right, and then uh, celebrityhaircorp.com, another friend of the show. Ladies, get all your uh, natural hair extension needs taken care of at celebrityhaircorp.com um, as always it is free shipping and no tax so get your bundles celebrityhaircorp.com and then last but not least because we're actually doing a, uh, a taste test uh, today is uh, right now yeah, right now just finished eating one Rena's Cakeys uh, spe- specializes in cakeys which is what I received as a Father's Day gift I got some cakeys Delivered. I have the lemon, the lime, and the strawberry. I think we've already all had at least one of each. At least. Uh, I gotta say, lime is my favorite, but they're all good. But I uh, think lime is becoming my favorite. I was I was on the lemon train, but lemon's still really good. But I'm gonna go with lime is my favorite. Lime's it's got pretty. some lime zest in there and yeah. everything. It's, it's zesty. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, I every- usually love everything strawberry. I like the strawberry, but I, I really think the lime. Is winning. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I like the line. I like the line. Mm-hmm. Rena's mm-hmm. Cakeys. Uh, that's R I N A S Cakeys dot com. Uh, she does more than just cakeys. If you don't know what a cakey is, it's the size and shape of a cookie, 
but the texture of a cake, and they come uh, in six different flavors with icing. Uh, so mm-hmm. I know the three flavors we have, again, are lime, lemon, and strawberry. I know there's like an almond, a, a almond coffee. And an orange, I think. And orange, mm-hmm. okay. I haven't tried those, but I have to vouch for the lime, the lemon, and the strawberry. Uh, these, are, these are all excellent. So, yeah. All right. Bill's paid. Let's get into, uh, I don't know. I won the bet. If anybody was wondering, you won the bet. Slam won the bet. Now, please, uh, people, Warriors and five. Yeah, Warriors one and five. Yeah, I, I was hoping for the sweep. It didn't happen, but I still won the bet. Um, I so, don't know. did you reveal what you wanted as your prize for winning? I did. I put it on put it on Twitter. If you don't follow the show on Twitter, uh, I asked for a forever spin set. And if you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a set of tops. Yeah, I'm a 35 year old man. And wants, wants to spin top. And wants a set of spinning tops. Uh, an expensive set of it's spinning neat, tops. So it's an expensive set. What, like, what metal is it? Is it tungsten or? With the set I want, I think I get four different ones. In, in mess. I know I know one of them is like 24 karat gold. And another one is, uh, so I'm going straight Bruno Mars on them. 24 karat <laughs> It's an expensive toy. It's an expensive. I couldn't think of anything else that I wanted. But, all I right. mean, because all the other toys that I want are way more expensive than that. So I had to. So if you don't know, Ma, uh, Tammy and I have made a little bit of a tradition of betting on the NBA Finals. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the last three years, it's been the same two teams. We didn't bet last year for some reason. Because we probably had a baby, and we didn't think about, about it. about it. But we bet the first time they they played each other, and we bet again this time, and I've won both. But I always give her first choice a team, so it's not like I forced her into this bet. I will say that I pick the Cavs because I know that you want to bet on the Warriors. So, see, that, that's, that's, that's something that a loser would say to try to justify the fact that they picked the losing team. I, I picked them because I knew you wanted the other one. I it's a the opposing team. I know that you're a Warriors fan. You're a Steph Curry fan. Next time, play to win. Time. Play to win. Play to win. So if I pick the Warriors, you're going to pick the Cavs. I, if I say if I say the bet is open and I'm giving you first choice of the team you pick, if you pick the Warriors, I, all I got left is the Cavs. I gotta take them. So you saying you let me win is what you're trying to say? See, yeah, I, I'm letting you win. See people, <laughs> see that? That's yeah. what's happening here. That's what's <laughs> happening there. Play the win, time. I'm gonna still get you your prize. Play the win. Yeah, 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 anyway, <laughs> you don't want any more. I, I ain't say all that. Mommies have to stay out of these kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't talked to mom much yet. So one of the reasons I really wanted to have a mother on the show is I can't remember what episode it was. I don't even remember what we were talking about. But I know uh, in a tweet to try to promote the episode, and in the episode itself, I said the biggest racist I know is my mother. <laughs> <laughs> and that, of course, through the magic of the Internet, got back. I don't even know if my mom was listening to the show at that point. But at this, at that point, she was now aware of the show. Oh, we got back to your mom. Hey, got back to mom. I'm a DC public school retired <laughs> teacher. I have people all over. <laughs> she know what you saying about I'm her. Telling you. When she says she has people all over, she means at oh. fast food restaurants all over. <laughs> <laughs> you people have no. Oh idea. no, I've written um, letters of recommendation to all the major. Uh, universities, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Brown, Wow, University right. of Pittsburgh. Well, sh- shout out to the Eastern grads that are doing their thing, Eastern um, Senior High School. Yes. Um, I, I haven't named any of the, you know, black schools, but uh, uh, Morehouse. See how you race? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I mean, you know, it's sort of like a rundown. You already Harvard, Yale, Princeton. You, you know, that's kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I, but, you know. Spelman, all those. Is that uh, school? Howard, school? Howard. Are those schools down there? The Morehouse and Spelman. Are they still all girls, all boys, or all women, all men? I'm not sure. Or did they? I don't. Merge? I'm not sure. Somebody in there let us know. I don't know. I'm yeah. not sure. I think they're still traditionally male, mm-hmm. female, but I, I'm not sure. Yeah. So yeah, I have people all around. Oh, I'm just mm-hmm. saying, people. You, you have no idea as a child how much McDonald's got thrown away because we, <laughs> we were pulling out of a drive-thru and my mom was like, I used to teach him I, and I failed him. We yeah. ain't eating this. No way. <laughs> <laughs> and she, well, she wasn't even polite about it. We didn't wait till we got home and threw it away. We threw it away in the nearest 
trash can. Y'all in the McDonald's parking lot. Within right eyesight, there. right there. <laughs> My mama paid for it and uh-uh. still gonna throw it away. She don't trust you worth nothing. No, especially if I failed you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, no, it's not worth it. You know, he did something that those burgers and fries. He did something. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah. Not know? trusting that. A lot of cash in the trash. A lot, a lot of, of cash in the trash. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. So, Mama. So, what you, what you explained to me, and what I've been, and I've actually brought it up on the uh, on the podcast and other episodes since then, is is this idea of the difference between uh, racism and prejudice, mm-hmm. and that uh, and that racism uh, requires you can't be racist without the power to oppress. Like, you know, if you you can have a feeling about another race, but if you don't have the ability to then deny them something because of that mm-hmm. feeling, then that's not racism, and that yeah. that's more of just racial oppression. supremacy. You know, you have to. It's when when you believe that one race is superior to another, and you can enforce laws and rules and regulations, you know, to suppress the inferior or the so-called inferior race. Okay, so it's not just the power thing, it's the fact that you believe your race to be superior to the yes, other race. Yes, yeah. Okay. It's a, it's so it's not just I don't... Supremacy. We, I, they, we equals, but I don't like them, so no. I'm going to take something away from no. them. It's we're, I'm better than you, and because I'm better than you, yes, then I can take something away from you. And you can't have what I have because I'm better than you. Yes. So okay. I'm so not no, I do not believe my mother believes she's better no. Than any other uh, no, group don't. of people, or that her people are better than any other group I'm of people. I'm a very humble person. <laughs> you are. I'm very humble. And I think um, Bonnie, one of our good friends and good friend of the show, she mentioned. Shout out to Bonnie. Shout out to Bonnie. She mentioned that um, you have to also have some kind of hatred or malice in your yes, heart. Yes, you want to do them harm. Right. You want to do them harm, you know. Right. In, a, in right. addition, I mean, some races. Well, yeah, when you want to put someone down, you want to make someone feel less than they uh, uh, need to feel, that's, that's harm. Mm-hmm. That's not, that may be not physical harm, like you're trying to kill them or slap them, but it is harm. That's right. mental. So let me, let me run down a real-world situation and get you guys' thoughts on whether or not this was... Well, let me say this before okay. I forget it. Hitler, when he announced the white race, uh, the great white race was a, a great example of racism. He actually believed that the Aryan race was better. Superior race. Superior race. And but so he wasn't Aryan himself. Not totally. He had some he he had some mixture there. He was part partially Sounds a little bit know. of self hate too. Probably. You know, that's dangerous. Yeah. Mom is a history major, by the way. Mom is a history major and an English <laughs> teacher. Well, no, okay, let so me... Imagine what my no, childhood was like. No, well, <laughs> I, I became... Well, I haven't... I studied history. I, mean, I never taught it. No. And English was not my passion. I needed a job. So I became certified in English. I had to go back to school and take seven, no, how many classes? Seven classes, I think. Mm. 21 hours to become certified in English. So it's not my passion. And But then, just to flip it one more time, then uh, mom got into the computers, computers. and yeah. the tech. So yeah. she's the reason I, I do what I do yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. He was taking apart toasters. So what's the statute of limitations? Can I tell him how we used to take the computers out of the <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, these were computers. These were computers that were being discarded. They okay. were, I, and I and literally got most of them out of the trash. But I would get them out. Take, right. We would bring come them up home. to school with, yeah. a, in a, with a shopping cart. <laughs> we fill up the shopping cart, <laughs> and this is how you know you're doing something wrong because we fill up the shopping cart and then we would put blankets around the shopping <laughs> cart. <laughs> And then y'all would run out? And then out out of the trash can now, because, you know, they didn't want us to have the, co- I don't know why we couldn't have the computers out yeah. the trash, but. They'd rather throw them away. They'd, they'd rather throw them away. So I would bring them home, and probably maybe six, seven at a time. Okay. And because my Because out boy, of those six or seven, I would get one working machine. Yeah, he would get one working machine. Wow. So we cannibalized these machines and would have one working computer. Yeah. 
the, but that I, you know, I needed to occupy him with something, so he would stop taking my, my <laughs> microwave, not microwave, but my uh, toaster and. What else were you taking apart? I don't know. My, my mother lamps. Built, my mother lamps. My mother created a natural curiosity and a want to yes, understand. That was my and purpose. Learn. That she she created that. And I then wanted them to I don't love know that she learning. expected. She knew where it was going to go. Mm -hmm. So how were you curious when you put lotion in the goldfish tank? Mm. That's not like what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to know what's going to happen? Tank. When you put lotion Have in the Have you ever put lotion in water? If you put lotion in water, like it turns in, like you know, it's like it. Once it hits the water, it the little ribbon of lotion maintains the shapes. Now it looks like a little like white worm mm. in the water. No, I use lotion mm. for my skin. Well, see, I know more about lotion than you do because mm -hmm. you don't know what it does with it. But <laughs> <laughs> that information that you have is, is what, what do you use it for? It's kind of useless. But I isn't have it, it though. Mm -hmm. I, have, I acquired it yeah. on my own. So when your daughter starts doing stuff like that, you know that's a Flanagan Watch thing. Watch out, I tell I, you. I, my mother's been I waiting see for this. It she's been waiting for this for 35 years. She's been waiting for the payback to come. It's and happening. She's sitting and watching and enjoying every minute of it. Well, I see it. <laughs> it's let happening, me, isn't let it? Me, let, me, let me say some good things about my mother okay. before we, we get into the rest of the show. Because okay. today is Father's Day. Yeah. And if anyone thinks that I'm a good father, if anyone thinks that, you know, if anyone sees good in me or, or, or how I carry myself or the values that I have or the things that I instill in my daughter or the way I carry myself, it comes from my mom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, growing up, we, we we were so much alike that we butted heads all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and she would, and even now when she, when she hears me talk, you know, and repeat things that she said and and, and, and remember lessons and things that she taught me. It probably comes as a surprise because at the time it felt oh, like rebellion. Yeah, it felt like you know, like we hated each other. Mm -hmm. We spent we could we could live in the same house and spend and maybe not talk to each other for a week mm. at a time, like just not speak at all. But I love my mother and and everything good uh, I see in myself. I know I got it from my mom. So. Well, thank you, dear. Thank you. For, I tried very hard to instill in you good things. But I also feel like I'm becoming a racist. And that's not... <laughs> <laughs> well, you have you, the ability... You think that you're better than no, no, okay, another no, race? No, no, because, well, my definition of racism was different. So, okay. I, all right, so this, this is what I want. I wanted to give you guys a real-world scenario. Was, I was insulted, highly insulted. Right. And I so kept it do? I kept it inside for a long time because I didn't want to reveal my source. And if I spoke about it at the time I heard it I, he might have been able to figure out the source so I had to keep it in right. so one I'll say I, I, I'm sorry for insulting you mom I, oh, I, I racist everything I loathe I, you know one is one is shock value you know I'm trying to promote an episode and I'm trying to give content in an episode that would catch people's attention attention mm -hmm. so that that was part of the motivation okay. uh, involved in it but yeah before I had a clear understanding of, of what racism really is and I'm still trying to figure that out because I don't know I don't know the origins of this idea of, of power being a necessity uh, in racism I, I don't know where all of it exactly stems from and I, I, but I'm I'm doing more to find that out before I label anyone else a racist I'm going to make sure I completely understand the term so I okay so here's something I did oh, okay. that um, but I want to talk about the prejudice, being hmm. prejudiced also. All right, so maybe, so you can tell me, what are you pointing at? Oh, well, it's a bug. It's a bug, it's a bug. You're not supposed to say that on the, on the podcast. Everybody hold up, it's a bug. Because I'm not prejudiced either. It's daddy dude. He, he says yeah, he is. thinks I might be prejudiced, but I'm, I'm not right. that either. All right, so, so y'all help me understand. what. So, so um, when I was starting the company and building the podcast, uh, I wanted to get a logo made. So I went to a website called Fiverr, uh, shout out to Fiverr, to, uh, to commission someone to create a logo for me. So I found someone, they had, uh, you know, they had a ton of you know, good comments and good feedbacks. So I figured this was a good person, I liked their rates. I paid them to build a logo. It turns out this person was, uh, I think, Pakistani. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so there was definitely, you know, 
the whole what if CWS idea was a little tongue in cheek and it was sort of a joke and the person clearly didn't get the joke. In addition to the fact that the stuff that they gave me back seemed to be uh, like cookie cutter and out of a box. Like they just took the words I gave them, plugged mm-hmm. them into a random logo generator and then just like sent me back. But they got, it showed like no artistic merit. They clearly didn't understand what I was going for. And, uh, and, and it was, it was just a, it was a, it was a bad experience. And so, and I've also had other bad experiences with, uh, you know, with people from that region, from, you know, some of the companies that I've worked for. So it was just one of the, it just added to the, the already negative overall impression I've got. And so the next time, when I got my money back from that, uh, mm-hmm. from that transaction, I went to go find another person on Fiverr to create this logo. I wasn't going to give up on getting the logo made. Mm-hmm. But at that point, if I got on your page and anything pointed to the fact that you were Indian, Pakistani, whatever, it was, no, nah, I don't want to work with that person. I don't want to work with that person. I was like specifically seeking out an American. I think the person I eventually went with was Canadian. So mm-hmm. it didn't even have to be American. It just it had to be somebody it could, couldn't be from that region. So where would you label that in the spectrum of, of racial whatever? I think you were making probably decisions on a whole race based upon some ex- limited experiences, and um, you know that that's I that's would consider that prejudice. That's prejudice. Yeah. The definition right here: preconceived opinion that is not based on mm-hmm. oh, that's not based on reason or actual experience. So what is it if it's based on but, reason? But or that's actual limited experience. experience. That he's his limited experience. So how much is experience contribute. is enough experience? Well, I don't know because you can't base the actions of twenty, thirty, a hundred people. Jeez. For I mean, on <laughs> a, mean? for a whole race. I mean, for a whole race. I mean, you know, you may run across, you know. But a you don't small think, organization. You don't think that's natural for a person, especially after after twenty, thirty, Maybe. for you to start I saying, you, but for, you, you, but for you, your brain to start recognizing a pattern and saying, "Here's the pattern I see. I want to avoid that." You want to avoid future. that? I, I don't know. I, I just don't think that a limited. You, it hadn't been year after year after year after year, um, and and it's how many times you gotta get hurt? I, mean, I don't before, know. You know. Just, you know. My um, Christian principles say if someone sins against you seven times, seven times a day, that's 49 a day. times so a day. I didn't you have want, to forget. I don't, that, so forgiveness is one thing. I don't want anything bad to happen oh, okay. to these people. I don't, want, I don't want them not to be successful. I didn't want to work with them anymore. I personally, just me, I don't want, if you were telling me you wanted to get and a logo were, made, I wouldn't say stay away from them Pakistanis, you know? Okay, yeah. You know, I, that's yeah. just me. Mm-hmm. I per, I didn't want anything bad to happen to any one mm-hmm. of the people, but if I felt like I was not going to get what I wanted from... Well, okay, maybe that is, you know, cultural. There may be a cultural block there. And, you know, people of different cultures do not think the same way, and... um so you might feel that I need to go to another culture, yeah. culture that is similar more, or more similar to mine, um, you know, than uh, the Pakistanis or the Indians, you know. Right. Their, their culture is something. highly, highly different. I want to point out something before we go any further. This is what Tammy does when we get on the phone. You see how she's like she just completely <laughs> shut off, like she's over there mm. and she don't say much. This mm. is exactly what, because she, she thinks that the conversations between my mother and I are like way too confrontational. Like she, would, she would expect us to get off the phone like, I can't stand that. I, I, ain't my, I hate my mother. And we, we, we will guys. argue for about, we'll argue for like two hours. Oh, and yeah. be like, all right, yeah. I love you, Ma. I'll talk to you, yeah. you talk guys to you next can week. go. And I just, I'll just disappear into a wall oh, talking no. about religion politics, all those taboo topics, and I'm like, let me just go into a corner oh. real quick and let y'all hash it out. Well, I, I don't... I'll come back for some cake. I guess it's... I mean, I don't know. I come from a large family, and so when everyone starts talking... And then I come from a loud family. My mother mm-hmm. was very loud. I have a brother that almost sounds like he's screaming when he's just talking. And uh, so... 
you know, we just, we, never, we just always debate. Somebody's, when you have eight people in the family, nine, well, ten, when you mom and dad, and everyone disagrees and has an opinion, mm -hmm. it gets noisy. And then it just, you know, we all love each other. We don't hate each other because, um, you know, I think it, it's, when my cousin used to come over my house and my mother and my younger brother would, were actually rolling on the floor. They would wrestle. My mother would wrestle with my brothers. Mm -hmm. Then when she, when, when one of the brothers would take, get over, start overpowering her, she grabbed the first thing and throw it, broke coffee tables. <laughs> <laughs> and we're playing. And then, and then, oh yeah, she, when she, my mother bought a, a glass table, a coffee table. And the bet was how long it was going to last. <laughs> and it didn't last very long because she was down on the floor wrestling. Oh, my God. And See, this, is what, this is what I come from. But this is, this is what I come from. So, so we understand. Yeah, so we debate and Why make a lot of noise. And I come from a family where they would fight over the fried chicken. <laughs> and I'm just this little girl. And I just have my little tiny plate. I have my one little wing or something or my one little drumstick and a biscuit. And while they're fighting over the food, I'm going to go over into a corner mm -hmm. and eat my little chicken leg and biscuit mm -hmm. and be okay with it and let them fight over all the food. Yeah, well, I mean, because they would fight and it would get heated. Oh, no. It was all it was over always some Popeye's chicken. It was always in fun and everyone was chicken. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, my, then uh, when my mother would start getting the upper hand on one of my brothers, mm -hmm. Then they'd start tickling her. Mm. And then, that's why I can't stand to be tickled. I mean, you know, that's not fun for everybody. But, um, no, we, we have debates and we um, challenge each other. Right. And Mama has gotten it. I think you enjoy it because there have been times where yeah. you have called me <laughs> and, and I have been trying to avoid it. And it's like you want, because you, you know what I'm going to say. And you're like, say it. I think you called, that time you called me about... Uh, Passion of the Christ. Jesus being handsome. <laughs> and you're like, somebody was like, I don't want my, you know, that's not Jesus. Why Jesus always got to be handsome? You was like, I want a handsome Jesus. Jerry, what do you think? I don't, I don't have no opinion. I don't know what. No, just tell what do you think, Jerry? Mom, no, no, nah, no, Ma. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, not going there with you today, Ma. I'm not doing it. I ended up doing it. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Yeah. And I think I fell asleep at some point. Like, you just either leave, leave the room because y'all going to be debating for the next two hours starting yeah. at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, well, see, there's a, an hour difference in mm -hmm. the time. So, but also that means that I thought it was 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, I knew it was 12 o'clock. Goodness. I don't uh, know. You're a night owl now. You're a night owl. Well, yeah. yeah. That's not good for a senior citizen. The only reason I'm not we need is, a rest. The only reason I'm not now is, is because of Elise. Elise. Like I know so when she goes sleep? to sleep, I need to go to sleep. Like there are times we have rushed to the bed. We're out. Mm -hmm. We have to go to sleep right now mm -hmm. so that we can get the same amount of sleep that mm -hmm. she's getting, if not a little mm -hmm. bit more. Yeah. We're not getting more yeah. if she's getting. But we need to get to bed immediately. All right, so then the other thing I, w I want to talk about, we and we were just uh, figuring this out before we started recording. So uh, tomorrow, well, today is when this episode will be aired. Uh, today is Juneteenth. Juneteenth. What is Juneteenth, and should I go to work? You should not go to work. I should not. You don't want me to go to work because my mother's here. Are you taking off? Yes. You taking off, and we can mm -hmm. have another family day. Mm -hmm. But what are the Juneteenth reasons? All right, so let's let us let mom do this. She was researching it the most, mom. Oh, well, I mean, I don't really know that much. In um, September of 1862, two, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. So slaves in the Confederate States were freed. However, they didn't know they were free. And, um, we didn't live in the internet age, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> but they, but they would, the so the declaration became effective January first, eighteen sixty-three, and they didn't know they were free, and so officially, um, where they in eighteen sixty-five let the slaves know June nineteenth. Don't wait three years. Three years. Well, wow! It was so. It was just that they did. It was they decided to um, 
Wonderful. I guess enforce, impl- uh, you know, to, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Inform. In, enforce. Enforce. The, um, the law that had been in effect since January 1st, 1863. So it took So it was a federal law, yeah, but the, they, they didn't yeah. make it a state law until two years later, three years later. Yeah, well, it was a s- signed by the President of the United mm-hmm. States, law that he signed, but it wasn't enforced in Texas until June 19th, so it's, it's 1865. So it's almost the same thing is happening mm-hmm. now, but with, with different... Most of the states didn't re- recognize it then either. Yeah. You know, so it wasn't, but Texas was one of the first. I think Texas and one other state are the so the only two that make it a holiday. Yeah, tomorrow's a state holiday. It's a state, it's holiday. A state yeah. holiday. So I think that's why. What's I, the other state? I don't I'm, know. I, I can't remember what the other. That's state why it came to mind because you know I grew up all my life on the East Coast in Washington D.C. and uh, you know I don't think I I think I was an adult by the time I even heard the term Juneteenth. Juneteenth. And then, you know, never lived in a place where it was an actual. And I don't think we even realized it was a state holiday until my wife started working for the state. Right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. The states do not, that do not recognize it are Hawaii, Montana, New Hampshire, North Dakota, and South Dakota. They, I think every other state recognizes it. But they, it's not a state holiday. In those places. They, I mean, they, you know, we, we, like, like you said, we recognize it in D.C. and Maryland, but it's not a, it's not a state holiday. It's not a state holiday. No. Right. Did you, did you see something? Okay. Where, I think Texas is one of the ones, there's only two states that I think, that's just what I Damn. think. Somebody can phone in, can you phone in and tell us? Oh, no, that's not that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not We haven't reached out. No, we, we had not with it. Okay. <laughs> uh, when is Juneteenth celebrated? Annually, on June 19th, in more than 200 cities in the United States, Texas and Oklahoma are the only states that have Juneteenth a legal holiday. Okay. Texas and Oklahoma. All right. All right. That, I mean, you're making uh, quite the case. I think you to... should take off tomorrow. <laughs> I think you should go ahead and call right. out. And when they ask you why you called out, you just say, because I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm calling now. Because they, I think, I think right now I'm black is right up there with woman problems. Yes. Where yeah. it's things you can say and it's all. I um go go take off. Because if you want, if you a lady and you want to call out, like ah, I can't come in today. What, what's going on? Woman problems. All right. That's all you gotta say. My fault. I ain't even. You ain't gotta ask. say anything else. Nah, I can't. I, I can't make it in today. What, what for? I'm black. Oh, oh okay. Okay. All right. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I used to work with a, a lot of guys too when I was at my last position. Yeah. And they made the mistake one time of digging for information. You gave it to them? I gave it to them. And they never asked me again. So the next time I said I have some women issues, they just walked away. All right. So I'm making awesome segues again. Let's go from that to gross baby stories. Gross baby stories. (laughs) Awesome segues. So, yeah, we we had a a heck of a gross baby moment. Oh, my gosh. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yes. So this little girl was trying me. Right, we're sitting here uh, as a family. The Flans got together and decided to play a game of Clue. Mm-hmm. I won the first game, in case anybody wanted to know. You did? I did. And, we played uh, two games. We played two games. My niece, uh, Quinlan, won the second game. Nine years old. Nine years old. Mm-hmm. Beat us all. <laughs> uh, but while this was happening, uh, Elise, was, 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 she was being a good little girl. She, she was. She was watching Elmo and was in her own little world having a good time. And then we noticed that she she had pooped. You know, the diaper was a little saggy. And uh, and she came over and gave us a little warning. She gave us a little warning. She walked she over. She let us catch the whiff. Like, here you go, let me waft this. I didn't even smell anything. You didn't smell it? But I just saw the sag, and saw she was sag. kind of, you know, like showing me the sag. Like, right. here's a sag, Mom. You can do something about this. Baby, just give me 10 more minutes. We can finish this game. I'll give you a bath, new Which diaper, is usually not everything. A right. She mm-hmm. don't care about poop. But the problem was she didn't have on pants. She didn't have on pants. She was walking around with just a shirt on and a diaper, which is okay. That's what babies do. But she didn't have on any pants. So she decided. She just, oh, my God. <laughs> she decided she didn't want to wear that diaper no more. <laughs> and uh, by the time we found her, diaper was off. The poop was no longer in the diaper. It was on the floor. It was on the floor. It was. <laughs> so we were trying to figure out if she ate some of it. 
So I'm putting my, so my nose bu- yeah, we're putting her in nose her mouth. In her mouth and couldn't come to a positive conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> so your response is, well, if she ate some, she'll throw it back up. Or she, yeah, I mean, she'll her system will take eventually. care. Oh, my system gosh. system will take care. But that's was, all right. We had to pick up poop off the floor. I'm holding her hands so that if she does have poop on her hands, she that she's not going to smear it anymore. Any, oh, my God. Rub her eyes. Give me the wipes. Somebody help has some me. wipes. <laughs> help me <laughs> help, now. Help, help. Help. Please. Oh, my. It was chaos. Mm-hmm. Just poop. Well, that was Tammy's department. I was able to sit that one out. Dad takes all vomit. You take all vomit. I've taken it like a champ. Mm-hmm. Poop is on you. I, I can handle it. It's still, it's still. I have never seen like a full turd on the road before. But <laughs> I, I mean, don't. and this was a, a so, healthy. It's like a mud pie. Of <laughs> <laughs> All laughing about the baby's poop. It was a mm-hmm. healthy mud pie of mm-hmm. sweet potato. Well, that's a good sign that she might take to potty training. Because she um, didn't want the poop on. Because she it. was going to wanted to poop off, so. Mommy didn't get it off. <laughs> I didn't. It's fast my fault. enough. I gotta take that. that. I had to take that. She's, I'm not head. waiting ten minutes. No, no. <laughs> but she was quiet about. She didn't cry. No. She wasn't upset. She's like, All right, y'all busy. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> she was standing in front of the TV. Wow. Well, I'm gonna continue to watch Elmo. I'm just gonna get this poop off me. Yeah. yeah, she she took care of it herself. It was my fault because she gave me a warning. Mm-hmm. I knew right. it was time. I'm afraid. But I wanted to play Clue. I'm afraid to ask. Mama, what, 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 what's, what's the grossest uh, baby story? Well, I, well, I have two, but I, I think since I'm here, I'll. Now I'll, you don't have to do I'll, mine. I'll you don't share. Have, you, should, you, should, you should share all, everything. Well, this is not one I actually. I know it happened, but I, I didn't really see it. I went around, but you and your sister were playing in your room, and we were playing. Um, oh, is this the Kool Aid no, story? No, this is the. Um, Tea party. The tea party. You were Aaron invited you to her tea party. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to make Kool Aid. That's well, cute. Well, she said you you were. I don't know why you were the one that's supposed to get water. Yeah. And she, but anyway, she's Jared was the one that was supposed to get water. But I was like three years old. Oh, yeah, like yeah. three. Yeah, oh, you no. were little. Oh, no. And she he came back with the water. <laughs> I already know where you're going with this. And. Uh, after, after, I, I think they even had the tea. Yeah, because yeah. we were, so we were trying to make Kool-Aid. And our, our way of making Kool-Aid was to put an hour later in the little kettle. She had a little, like, tin kettle. And you put an hour later in the kettle, and then you put water in there, and you, okay, you kind of let it, you know. Melt, yeah, yeah. We thought, dissolve. Yeah, we mm-hmm. thought the an hour later was going to flavor the water. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, and it takes a couple scoops. It took me a couple times to go back and get more water. And come. Where were you getting the water from? And that's the gross part. <laughs> All right, I'm three. Can I reach the sink? I'm short. I don't I'm short even now. know what made Aaron. <laughs> and I'm not even sure where I was, but I do know that. Um, so if you haven't figured it out, yeah, I was I was dipping the water yeah, out the toilet. He was getting the water. <laughs> that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh, that well. is, y'all were drinking it. And you, you were drinking it too. Were you I, drinking it? I, yeah, I, I got the water. I'm sure I did. I'm yeah. sure I wasn't like, oh no, Aaron, I want to see if you're going to drink that. Oh. No, I, oh. I wanted the Kool Aid. Mm-hmm. Out of the toilet. It's not my fault. I don't know why she trusted you. <laughs> How did she think you were getting the water? I, I don't know. I, I, it had to have been clear that there was no way I was reaching the So sink. she was six and he was three. Right. And he was getting the water. Mm, mm, That's mm, problem mm. solving and ingenuity. You can't reach the sink. I know where else water comes. <laughs> you, could, you, you couldn't reach. You had a, there, I had a little stool. Did we? In the bathroom. And that's how you guys got on the pot. On the toilet, the little stool. I made the best decision. So I he could have gotten moment. on the stool and turned the sink on, the water and the faucet, but he decided to use the toilet. Well, he's still alive. Wait, everybody's still alive. Mm-hmm. That's gross. Yes, gross. It happened. It happened. All right, what's the what else you got? What's, what's the other one? Well, I, you know, it, just, it was just, it was with Erin, um, my my daughter, and um, she was. You know, um, every time I would get ready to go to church, get her all cleaned up, get her all nice. As soon as I got, I was, I was late for church all the time, because as soon as we would start heading toward the store door, she would just, you know, poop Ooh. everywhere. Everywhere. It would, it would just, you know, no matter how much I tried to tuck this and tuck that, because she was breastfed and. Um, 
Breastfed babies poop is like pudding. Just be everywhere. This is getting gross. So yeah, that would be a total, a total. Have, I would have to totally go back. Everything had to come off. It wasn't just a bottom wipe. It had to be a total bath. You know. This is actually helping me out because you know Aaron bought a shirt and she she's hates taking a picture with the shirt. But I'm reluctant to like post pictures of my sister. You know, because I I know I know how dudes are. And I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to have to approach people. You know, I don't want to have to come out of my character because somebody said something they're not supposed to say. But now, dude, just understand, if I post the picture of my sister wearing a shirt, it's the same little girl who used to just explode with poop every time all I tried over, to go everywhere. to shirt. All over, everywhere. All up her. Just keep that would, image in your mind. All up her back. It's not going to matter. All, all up, up her back. back. <laughs> Get in her hair. Like, put in her hair. Uh, <laughs> she was a baby. It's, it's not like going to matter. Stinky putting all in her a, hair. A non-walking baby. No. It's not going to matter. So she drank toilet water and pooped up her back. <laughs> you drank toilet water and you are married now. It's Nip, not yeah. going to matter. Mincy Erin, she's a beautiful woman, mm-hmm. so it's not going to matter. Right. Mm-hmm. I just, just think before you post. <laughs> think before you post. It's, it's, it's going to be hard, Jerry. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. It's going to be hard. Think before you post, gentlemen. So he's very protective of his sister. Isn't that, isn't that nice? That's very That's nice. That's very nice. That's it's very nice. nice. I'm, I'm, I am indeed proud. Thank you for being so protective. Uh, are we... And it's it's crazy because uh, as a punishment, my sister and I used to be forced to hug. <laughs> <laughs> that was a punishment. I was oh. like, uh, "Go hug your sister." Yeah, go hug your sister. And I'm saying we used to do the the like the slow like approach each other <laughs> as slow as possible, trying to get as little contact. Like ah <laughs> ah ah, there. I hug. <laughs> That's terrible. Right, but Aaron is Aaron's one of my big, the biggest supporters of the show. I, mm-hmm. I appreciate everything that she does. I think she just likes to act like she doesn't like you. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because as children, it was you know, I had to go up to school almost all. I had to go up to, to school all the time. She's three years older. Jared was you know, I think she left the the school when he was in the third grade. I guess. But I was always going up there because she was always, I couldn't let him do that. You know, I couldn't let that person do that. And Jared was small, and um, and some of his classmates were, well, some, I don't know, anyway, kids, I don't know. She was always getting in fights. One time she saw Jared, he was out in the snow. We live in Maryland. <laughs> so we had about, what well, was about two feet of snow out there in the yard. And Jared was out there playing. And then suddenly he just fell back into the snow. Aaron ran out there. Oh, ma, ma. You know, why did you fall out in the snow? Because I was, I, was, I was in my own little, like, fantasy world. And I was pretending like I was in a blizzard and we were trying to get out. <laughs> and I, uh, I can't make it. Uh. <laughs> and you fell out. <laughs> and, and Aaron, mama, before I could get there, she was out there in the snow. And then I think when he got up and stood up, I saw her hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually worried about you. Yeah. And you playing around? Playing around. Right. So it's, it's a situation where she can hit you and she can, uh, can't can stand you, but nobody else can. That's, well, I think that's, that's how true. Go. That's, that's how, how it goes. I can call my mama a racist. But you better not call my mama not. <laughs> <laughs> You better not. Yeah. The Flanagan's, we, 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 we're a tight-knit group. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Mm. One of us. I'm one in there. Them. I'm in there. I'm a Flanagan. See, as I you know, as I've been telling my mom for the last almost two years now, she is responsible for the existence of six human beings. That's a lot of human beings. That's a lot of human beings. That's that's more than a starting five of a basketball. You got a you got a basketball team and a six man. Can I sing the two Flanagan songs? I can't stop you. I know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> The one that I taught my my children, um, and so at two and three years old, they could spell Flanagan. It's F L A N N A G A N spells Flanagan. O F L A N N A G A N spells Flanagan. One more time. F L A N N A. G 
A N spells Flan again. Hey! <laughs> I can't believe I'm letting this be recorded. This is yeah. happening. This is happening. And then the other one, I just, I, it's not, I just, this is just the other Flanagan spelling. And that's F L A double N A G A N spells Flanagan. I never heard that one. Oh, never. Yeah, I don't. Mm-hmm. That, that sounds like a jingle. I don't sing it that much. F L A double N. But that's a play on another song. N spells Flanagan. I'm trying to think of what the. um. It's a play on. You know how I take songs. Yeah. And it sounds I'm, like a Ritz cracker. And I'm, I use, mm-hmm. I put my own lyrics. So what do you call that? You call that um, when you take somebody else's song and you use your own lyrics. That's called plagiarism. What the singers do when they put other use other people's music? I in. can't think of the word. Whatever Weird Al does. <laughs> what do you call Weird Al Yankovic? No, no, no. no it's, I've seen a lot Spoof. of the rappers do it. You remix? Remix. Oh, you was the inventor of the remix, Mom? Uh, well, I've been doing Flan, it for... Flan invented the remix? Hey, I've <laughs> been doing it for, uh, what, how old is Aaron? For 38? Oh. oh. <laughs> Told everybody how I old Aaron is. I ain't even editing uh, I'm not editing that out. Oh. That's going in the episode. It's going in there. <laughs> Well, I've been doing it for a long time, yeah. And I just take like, uh, like I told, I, I taught uh, the address, telephone number. I can't sing them because then I would be giving out my telephone yeah, number we're not and address. Going to, we're not going to do that. But I mean, you know, there's songs for the so well, they were little little people, and they could tell you with their phone number and their address. You know, yeah. I used. I used to be. I used to be doing tests, like filling out the uh, the stuff for the. What they used to call those those tests we used to have to take every year, I the C something CBS I don't yeah, want to call CBC something CBC something, something like that. that. But I'd be filling out you know the bubbles for my name and I'd be F L A N N. My mom used that that song to spell the name when she was writing out a card or something to address it here and she was spelling out she was F L A N N A. And then she had called me and told me what she was doing. Yeah. So now everybody know how to spell my last name. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it's not the traditional no. spelling. It's not traditional Irish spelling. You know, it's not the traditional Irish spelling. All right, but I, I think this has been this has been a fun time, another evening with the Flans. Uh, on that note, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. Um, as usual, people, there's a lot of darkness in this world. Instead of us pointing fingers at the darkness, let's be the light. Be the light. Be the light. All right. And with that said, see you next time and peace. Peace. Bye.